Now to get us started, I'd like to demonstrate a new fill type we've introduced to Embroidery Studio E 4.5 and it's called Maze Fill. Now what's great about Maze Fill is it allows you to create pretty intricate filled pattern designs like you see here in a matter of seconds. And what's really great about this particular design, if I hide my stitches, is the whole design is actually one object. It's just a giant complex fill object that happens to have a hole in here because I digitized it around and I left a gap here and then digitized out the side here and around here. And instead of filling it with plain old tatami or satin or some other thick fill type, I filled it with our brand new stitch type over here called Maze Fill. And Maze Fill lets you set a spacing, a length, and a smooth setting as well. And also whether you want the spiral pattern to go in either a counterclockwise or a clockwise direction. And again, this is just one object. And what that means is if I do it in a slow redraw, is there's no trims. It does the whole entire design using a run style stitch method without stopping once, without trimming, without lifting that needle going through doing the entire design. And you can see as it's creating that design, it's building a really consistent spacing. Even though you can't fit a consistent spacing throughout this entire object because there's different thicknesses and different sizes, but the computer works it out really cleverly. So it creates that visually almost uh, consistent, perfect spacing. Now this method is commonly used in fashion style design work and it is great for large fill areas where you don't want to put in a lot of stitches. But it can also be used for classic logo style work as well. As you can see with this sample design that I've got. Now this is a back of a jacket design. But instead of filling it with boring old tatami, we filled it with maze fill for this cityscape area up the top here and just an open tatami fill down the bottom for the word London. And what I'd now like to do is show you how I built this design using this new maze fill stitch type effect. So I start up a new window and I'm first of all going to click over to my Corel Draw graphics mode. Now that I'm in Corel, I'm going to start off by importing some clip art or graphics that I've already created. So I'll go File, Import and I'll browse to my folder and I'll select my London Cityscape. Now this could be some vector clip art that you purchased or created yourself. Um, in this case I've grabbed a whole bunch of different silhouette images and merged them together and built this solid single shape uh, vector uh, cityscape outline of, of London. And what I'm going to do is create my text on screen. So type the word London and uh, that font style I'm after, that classic I Love New York font, which is that uh, Cooper Black. And because I want it to sew without trims, as little trims as possible, I'm going to use my uh, letter and kerning tool and just bring in that word London. So each character is slightly overlapping a little bit. So there's no kind of gaps. You can sew all that as one giant object. Um, and I'll just align that to the width of my silhouette background which is about there. Um, now at the moment it's still lettering and each one of these are separate lettering objects. So I'm going to go up to object and break it apart and that makes each individual object be a separate object to start with. Now that the separate objects I'm going to select them again go to object and convert it to a curve so it's no longer lettering but they're just vectors that look like letters but again they're separate individual objects. My last step is to select those individual objects and click the world tool. So now it's one large object, just like a complex fill with holes in the middle. Now I want to kind of cut it out and not have this background behind here, but I also don't want my background to run directly into the lettering. I want a bit of a gap here. So to do that, I'm going to use Corel's uh, contour feature. So I select my object. I come over to the right left side here and I choose contour and it's very similar to the offset tool we have in Embroidery Studio. Um, I can choose to make it be offset on the outside and make one offset and make it uh, 2.5 mil will be enough. I'll get rid of that four 
and just so we can see it I'll make it have a white background so you can see that's the actual offset it's created which is a nice gap two and a half mil now I don't actually want that offset object there I want it to cut away this background here so with my offset object selected I go up to object and I uh, break apart it will now separate it as its own separate object and then with that selected I select the shift key and the background silhouette so I've got both objects selected my offset white one and my red silhouette pattern and this time instead of world I choose flatten and it basically uses this offset as a stamp boom and if I make that yellow so we can still see my offset there it is there but I've used it as a stamp and it's now cut away this vector background in here so you can see it's no longer there which is exactly what I want so I can get rid of my yellow offset I no longer need that and if I look at my London well you know what I don't really want the red in here because that's just silly it's going to create a whole lot of trims so I use my reshape tool and I'll just select these ones and delete that delete that delete that delete that little one there and this one and my final one can be gone so what I've got in the end is two objects I've got my silhouette in the background here which is one object and I've got my London here which is another object both single objects to be able to be sewn as one shape without any trim which is perfect now that my artwork is done I select all that in curl draw mode and I click the convert graphics to embroidery this does the hard work for you my curl draw vectors have now been converted to embroidery and if you look down at the stitch count it's created a 20,000 259 stitch design there's a lot of stitches in that design if that was the back of a jacket it's going to be pretty thick it'll be pretty much a mess on a t-shirt it's going to cause a lot of problems right I'm going to have, probably have movement I have a lot of warping effect and it's just a lot of time on the machine well that's where these new open fills are really really useful let's start off with the top red section here it's coming as plain old tatami because it was a large fill shape but now I can select my brand new maze fill stitch type and it will go through and convert it to maze fill it's used the default 4 mil spacing so I can bring that down to let's say 1 millimeter and I can also change other settings such as my stitch length it's currently 2.5 mil which is pretty okay um, and I can also change my smoothing but you know what it's on low and it's done a really good job I don't need to increase the accuracy of that turning point or anything and I can make it be counterclockwise or clockwise direction and again if I slow redraw this it is going through and sewing this entire maze fill object as one object again creating a nice even spacing for that run style stitch fill and finishing it off again without a single trim now it's going through doing the gray part down below now we've gone from 20,000 and we're now down to 12,000 stitches so we're already saving a lot but I'm not finishing there I'm just going to change out my London so I select my London I take that default 0.4 up to let's say about a two mil spacing um, with an open spacing I don't need underlay so I can turn off my underlay and I can then use the Trapunto feature to force all my travel runs to be on the outside of my design and when I look at it there's some outlines here because it's traveling but there's no outlines on here so it looks a little bit inconsistent there's a couple of gaps here so I'm going to select that London object click on my outline and offset tool I'm going to check only to do an outline and not do a um, offset and I'll change it to use that same gray color number 17 and click OK and it's now doing a perfect outline around my entire London shape and I've gone again from 20 down to 12 and now 12 down to just five and a half thousand stitches so that's maze fill it's a new element for our designing level of our software and again it lets you take a really thick fill shape object and turn it into this nice open stitch and a very visually impressive looking design as well